Hey there, curious minds. Ready to unlock the secrets of our amazing world? Let's get started. Have you ever dropped a toy in the bathtub and watched it sink? Or seen a giant boat float easily on the ocean? What makes some things float and others sink? It's all about buoyancy. Buoyancy is the amazing force that water, or any liquid, uses to give things a gentle push. Up! It's like water's invisible hand. When you put something in water, the water tries to push it up. It pushes back with a force equal to the weight of the water the object moves out of the way. If something is heavier for its size than the water it pushes out, it will sink. If it's lighter for its size, the water easily pushes it up and it will float. Grab a ball of clay, drop it in water, splish, splash, it sinks. But reshape that same clay into a boat? Wow, it floats. You didn't change its weight. Your clay boat floats because its shape pushes out lots of water and there's air inside its bowl. Air is super light, making the boat lighter for its size. Life jackets are full of airy foam, making you float. And fish use a special swim bladder to add or remove air, helping them swim up and down. Submarines use buoyancy to dive deep and then rise. To sink, they fill tanks with water. To float up, they push the water out and fill tanks with air. Buoyancy doesn't just work in water. Hot air balloons float because the air inside is heated, making it lighter, less dense, than the cooler air outside. Not all water is the same. Salt water, like the ocean, is denser than fresh water because of all the salt. It gives a stronger buoyant push. How do huge metal ships float? They're shaped like giant hollow bowls. This shape pushes out tons of water and fills lots of space with air, making them less dense. Icebergs float because ice is less dense than liquid water. Even though they are huge, most of an iceberg is hidden under the water. From pushing a beach ball underwater to leaves floating on a pond or rubber duckies in the tub, buoyancy is happening all around you. Now that you know about buoyancy, be a detective. Look around. Can you find the invisible pushes and pulls that make things float or sink? So remember, whenever something floats, it's getting an invisible push from the liquid or gas around it. Keep exploring the amazing forces of science. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe to Tender Intellects for more such fun videos.